I could pay great tribute to Marcy Kaptur. I'll save that for another time, except for one thing I have to share. Among uh, her many attributes, Marcy is a staunch opponent of free trade agreements. And I'll never forget when then President Bill Clinton was campaigning for re-election. He's in Toledo, a huge rally, and Marcy gets up to the podium, the president right off to her left, and she rallied against the NAFTA with him sitting there. It was quite a visual on the uh, evening news. But tonight, I'm so pleased to be able to stand here and talk about my colleague in the labor movement. We grew up in the labor movement together in Northwest Ohio, Baltimore, Velasquez. And I think probably the first strong impression I had about him was in the 70s when the Toledo Federation of Teachers, the teachers we represent, were on strike. And he was a staunch vocal supporter. And I remember marching on a major thoroughfare, all of us on strike in Toledo, with that flock banner in the crowd. And then at Central Labor Council meetings, month after month, when you look through your program and you'll see a picture of Baltimore with a microphone in his hand, that's Baltimore on the floor of the CLC, mobilizing his own brothers and sisters and educating us. And then, most recently, um, Baltimore has instituted what's called Flock Homies Union, developing social capital in young people between the ages of 14 and 24, and Homies Union just graduated its first three students. And on their sweatshirts and on their t-shirts, the slogan they adopted is, putting the labor back in the hood. Um, Baltimore, we all know, forever has been an incredible champion and advocate on behalf of men and women who harvest crops. And when you think of the word organize, Baltimore defines it. And he has been the conscience of the labor movement in Northwest Ohio and throughout the country and beyond. So I am so privileged and proud to be from Toledo, standing here tonight to present Baltimore Velasquez with the Labor Rights Defenders Award. Baltimore.